So I'm gonna come right out and do a quick review of the new 3D Connection Keyboard Pro with number pad. And I'm gonna come out right away and say, I absolutely love this keyboard. Um, I'm a super 3D Connection fanboy. I've got all of their products. I've got the uh, Space Mouse, the wireless, the, um, or the, the wireless mouse, the CAD mouse rather, the Space Mouse Pro wireless, and now the keyboard. And one of the things I've talked about in the past a lot is when I'm in SolidWorks, you know, I really um, like to think about how I'm using my hands and I like to use more of a left hand operation because I don't want to ever take my right hand off the mouse. I want to only be keen with my left hand and operating the space mouse with my left hand. So really quickly, um, the general design of this keyboard is great because of the way it tapers down and it gives you support for your palm right here. Very smooth instead of, and it's very low. The height of it is very thin. Okay. So, um, it just has a really natural feel as you put your hand right here and I'm going to hotkey in SolidWorks a lot and I'm going to hotkey primarily on the left side of the keyboard. So for instance, like escape, I use B and delete, I use Q and to display draft, I use D and axis, plain sketches, hide show axis sketches, et cetera, et cetera. I'm primarily locating those keys on the left side so that I'm right here so that when I'm on the space mouse over here, I'm just making a small movement over here if I want a hotkey and then a small movement over here to when I'm going to enter a number, right? Um, and all of that, and I'm never taking my right hand off. Now, for me, I've never liked the um, virtual number pad that was in here. And honestly, I don't actually use the buttons on the Space Mouse Pro a ton. I use the fit button when I get lost in space. Uh, I don't like the button feel. I think they're too heavy, and I just don't really have a need for many of these buttons, okay? So, um Ideally, uh, what what I think would be perfect here, and I, I don't know how many other left-hand operation people really there are, but this is my preferred setup. I would love a new generation of the Space Mouse Pro that had very straight edges and basically fit into this trapezoidal shape um, between the number pad and the keyboard. Now, the other awesome thing about this keyboard is that it's acting as the wireless hub for your other devices, your mouse and your space mouse and everything like that. So you don't have to have an accessory dongle or any other stuff that you carry around because I move back and forth between two offices pretty frequently. And that's awesome. It's a great feature. The literally the button feel, I like the button feel. It's very soft, but still a little bit clicky. Okay. Um, really good button feel. And you've got these accessory buttons up here, which you can assign to different functions. And um, it adds a widget in the bottom of your screen, which you can set up, um, which corresponds to these different buttons, which I like. You've got some extra uh, accessory um, buttons up here that you can reassign. Um, I may use some of that, I may not. Um, Again, like I like to distill my SolidWorks experience down to using the, the, the fewest number of functions and consolidating the, the functions that I use. Like, you know, when you're modeling, you know, 90% of what you're going to be doing is you're, you're going to be using the same 10 or 20 commands again and again and again, right? And so I'm going to primarily use hotkeys. Okay, so the one thing I would say that I want out of this keyboard that I didn't get is a case, right? Because the awesome thing about this keyboard also is that it's basically exactly the same size as a thin laptop. And if you look at like, here's my box um, CAD uh, laptop right here, um, it's the same size. So if you put it into a briefcase, like my rolling briefcase, it fits in there really well. But 
we need some sort of protective cover to put over the keys so you can carry it in a briefcase or a backpack. I may even design one and 3D print it myself, but I think the literally the only criticism I have of this device is the fact that it doesn't come with a protective cover for the keyboard.